Do we hold up? Okay, now it's recording. It's recording. It's good. Uh, <laughs> lights, cameras, action. <laughs> check, check marks for spot, bro. You, 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 you missed me last week, man. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm like, all right, let me recalibrate. I wasn't here I'm here. excited about today. We got, we got a, a guest lined up as well. Yeah, we do. So there's a lot of different, you know, things. Little nuggets. Up, you know what I mean? Like the <laughs> little morsels. On the way. Oh, uh, man. I miss you, bro. I miss you too, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got to do that. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> the double action. All right. You ready? You warmed up? You good? Yeah, man. You good? It. Buckle up. I All guess right, that's the cue. It. Buckle up. Yo, 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 what up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Mario Esco Live. I am your host, Mario Esco, and alongside me is my good friend, co-host. What up? Gil Vargas in the building. Wifey, wifey is um doing mommy duties right now. We do have a special guest in the building, so yeah. hang, hang tight. Really excited about this and the way that God sovereignly unfolded it. Nice. Dope, dope, dope. At this point, I feel like God is the producer of the show. Mm. <laughs> it's like, it's super he really dope. Is. It, it really is. Y'all uh, want to find out. Shout out to our listeners. Shout out to our people. YouTube was good. Facebook was good. Twitch, Periscope. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean. What up? Wherever you're listening to the show. Grace and peace. Please be sure to check out d2lproductions.com. Music, uh, music, man, I messed that one up. M- m- what was that? Ch- <laughs> music makes you lose control. <laughs> music makes you lose control. God damn it. Thank, thank you, girl. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Is this appropriate? No, no, that's that not worth it. We got some music and merch. Uh, <laughs> Check out 774-243-0385. Go straight to voicemail. Say what's up. We might open the lines. Maybe. I don't know. I've been saying that and not doing it. But um, <laughs> Wait, I am updating the MeLive picks. So that's what's up. That's a plus for as me. As long as people can see hey. the visuals. <laughs> that's a plus. All right. We can bring down these hand claps. Um, so check out MeLive picks. Share the show. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube, all that good stuff. Yeah, yo. Recap last episode. Sammy Esco. Samari. Samaris, wifey's first time. Um, oh, was that you? Was that your headset? Is it is it loud? Is it good? You good? No, I'm good. I'm you good? good? Okay. Uh Sammy Esco's first time in front of the camera. Sammy, how you know, how'd you feel? How'd you Oh, I feel so much better being on this side. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so pretty. What do you mean? Uh, What's wrong? Yeah. I'm in my space. You're in your space. Oh, what well, hey, that's oh. a start. <laughs> that's a start, actually. <laughs> oh. Thanks. That's a start. But thanks for having me. Because you're getting comfortable in, in that spot. Yeah. So far, yeah. Yeah, you see? You held it down. We held it down. Gil was online critiquing, yelling at me, text message. She's yeah. not doing it right. Have her. No. <laughs> it's just, okay. Have her read Volume that really one part. Audio is important. I'm like, Gil. Because then all you got is Mario talking. And, and, then, he text, and then he texted me. <laughs> nobody want to hear Mario Ain't talking for an hour and a half. Rah, rah, rah. Hour and a half. All you is. <laughs> 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 it's a cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch cookie, of growls. A bunch of crumbs. The whole show. Uh, it's like, <laughs> what I sound like? Huh? Wait. You couldn't hear anything. So it no, was like. Say, That's what I <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it's like, oh, wow, this is a great show. <laughs> That's so foul, bro. You are it's, so It's the Cookie fun Monster and Beaker. 161. Uh, I ran that. <laughs> it's the Cookie Monster and Beaker. Wow. <laughs> Do you hear his critique? Yes, right in front I'm of us. Hearing. No shame. It is game whatsoever. I love y'all. Dope. I could do this dope, because we're dope, like family. Dope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this. It's the cookie monster and, and beaker. Beep beaker. Yeah. Yep. Great. Uh, <laughs> our featured tracks were 
You see do how it, I handled that? Do it that? for her. Do, oh, do it for her. I did that last, last episode. Do it for her. Do it for the king. My bad, because Gil has a, a track called Do It For Her. Check it out. So I always get mixed up. And New Tone showing me <laughs> featuring V Rose and John Paul, Fine. which is a great segue into introducing our special guest because Do It For, for The King, um, as I was playing the track, and by the way, I don't believe in chance or anything random or anything like that. I believe mm. God is sovereign. I believe he unfolds things the way that it should be. Yeah. And that he gets glory, whether we understand it or not, Amen. he gets glory in the end. Mm. Um, and that's where faith needs to be applied, that, that you do believe that, he's in sover- that he is sovereign and in control, and that through this, somehow, some way, he will be glorified. Amen. And he is glorified right yeah so uh so here i am just going through the featured tracks right going through the list going through the music and i come across do it for the king and i'm like i'm not thinking nothing of it i listen to it i'm like oh this is fire go through my list all right tuck this over here put it on the side i'm going through the list going through tracks all right this one's dope too put this to the side and i'm going through the whole list and i'm like "Ah, these, these two are fire and they're completely different from each other you got one that's like you know east coast boom bap you know that hip-hop hip-hop and then you got the other one that's that like you know melodic and more you know current with with the new age so i was like oh this is beautiful this is perfect so last week i'm announcing the track and i see the name ave ave rex and i'm like and gil you were on you were on youtube messaging Mm -hmm. and i was like wait a minute and i was like is this ave is this ave ave like ave rex ave yo this will be wild if this is ave and long story short, um, it ended up being my dude Ave, who I knew in the past when I do when I used to do music in the secular world, not believing in Christ whatsoever. Went to Jam- to Jamaica with homeboy, d- you know, did all these like it's it's and now here I am, Crazy. you know, fast forward introducing Ave, and now he's on our show, ladies and gentlemen, Christian hip hop artist, theologian, brother in Christ, Ave from Virginia is in the building. I'm so nervous, I don't even know how to. In- how to switch the scene right now man i gotta get the hand claps going i need things happening where, where are you He's brother where is this? Okay, hold on i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there there you are all right hey yo ave rex what's good brother man it's an honor to have you on the show bro uh gil was popping sammy good. in the building man it's good to, good to be here with y'all brothers man Bro, I'm st- I'm legit like shaking. I'm I'm like so happy. I'm so I I have like I don't know if there's such thing as holy anxiety. <laughs> holy anxiety. Is there holy anxiety? Is it like a <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a way that you could be so excited that you're like you know a little nervous and like man, this is beautiful, bro. You know what it is, man. It's it's God's His providence, man. Mm. Mm. Amen. I mean, it's just like. When, when we see these pieces clicking together, man, and, you know, we read the Bible, right? And we get excited when we read it. And we wish so much that our friend who doesn't read it or our cousin or or somebody who doesn't read, we wish so much that they could just get a peek, that they could just have a taste of this. And then you find somebody from your past that got a taste of it. And you like, man, mm. this is it right here. Mm. This is what I've been looking for. Amen, That's bro. what it is, man. That's what it is for me. Because it, it's like to see brothers. Do, I mean, we, we're not going to run down the list, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, I mean, you were in the position that we were in at the time. Um, you weren't you were what Wolves Entertainment, correct? Yeah, yeah, and, and, Wolves and an ill kid with uh, Guru Crumb Snatcher, yeah. Okay, Guru as in Gangstar Guru. Yeah. And yeah, Crumb yes, Snatcher. Sir. And then yes, cr- and, and then Wolves Entertainment, I, I, you know, we don't have to get into details, but I think at some point collabed with uh, Straight straight Up Entertainment. And that's yeah, where yeah. I, st- I was messing with Straight Up Entertainment because it was in Worcester at the time, Jimmy yeah. King in Worcester. And so yeah. we had um, Elder yeah. Head Toucher, we had J- Jesse Hayes, um, which rest, rest in peace, peace to, to Jesse yeah. Hayes. Um, we had, uh, who else? We had Slain. We had, um, well, uh, man, forgive me, bro. Um, we had Slain, Jason, and 
um, um, dude from Boston. I forgot his name, man. Ah, oh, that's that's a big drop. But we had we had a whole we we knew the same circles, and I knew yeah. I knew uh uh Crumb was like climbing up and like becoming familiar, and that's where you know I was behind the scenes learning about you know Crumb term terminology, all the hip hop yeah. heads in the scene, and that's yeah. where I you know in these events and stuff. That's why I ran into you, and that's how I got introduced to you. And we were always like. I don't know, if, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I always remember you to be like, sort of like me, like just a quiet dude, like watching. You're just in the back, like just observing everybody yeah. do their thing. You're just soaking up, doing your thing, just on the low. Um, I remember the trip we took out to Jamaica. I, I don't know about you. I was supposed to perform. I went out there to perform. I never did. I was just... <laughs> yeah, me neither. Dude. Yo, you neither? I think Jay Hayes was like the only one who performed. Yeah, he was the, we were, at the we were resort. Just doing other stuff. At I mean, the resort, yeah, he was the only one yeah. who did, and he killed yeah. it. He had fun. He did his <laughs> man. You remember that, bro? Wow, yeah, that, that was that was the first time I left the country. I mean, that, that was left the country. Like the you first. left the resort. I don't know where you. <laughs> no, no, let me stop. <laughs> I don't know where you went. I was like, where did where did Abe go, man? It was like, yeah, man. Um, but no, nah, man. We, I mean, to to go from that to I don't know. Um, and I'll be transparent, bro. I've also build, been building with Logic. Mm. A, a oh, producer who we used to mess with behind the scenes who also was involved indirectly with straight up entertainment and and what you you guys had going on he was also an engineer producer and all that and here i am like just i randomly bro um logic hits me up um shout out to logic we love you brother right. um logic hits me up and he's just like yo how do you find a biblical solid church and i'm like yo wait a minute what <laughs> what is good how what do i find question bro i'm like what i start <laughs> sending him stuff back and forth i i immediately say yo i gotta call you asap we start talking on the phone i'm like yo brother i just give him the gospel that was just my first instinct i was like let me call and make sure that you know there's just i don't know it's just my first instinct let me see where he's at and you know and that's he's always just, a good test when somebody yeah. says I, I i'm a christian I, I follow god hit him with the gospel and if yeah. he's like nah, i don't know about that bro I'll be like oh okay i was yeah. just checking yeah. yeah yeah i call i hit him with it and then you know he's texting me um last week he's texting me yo found a church and i'm like celebrating with him reminding me of you and and i'm just like then i call you and then i hear that you know not only are you saved and 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 you're rapping and and you're doing all this stuff to glorify God, but brother, you taking classes out in Grace Community Church as well, man. Crazy. Like <laughs> you studying yeah. up, man. Like yeah, on the grind, man. There's a thirst for that knowledge, brother. There's a thirst. Thing, it's amazing. You got, you got to quench that thing, man. Yo, you, why you don't that thing. Tell, tell us, man? Like when when the Lord came in, I know at the time you were doing music, you were doing your thing, and I know you weren't just doing music. Like you were around people who were who were full time, like doing this for real, for real. Do you mind just telling us like the story about you know, if you don't mind sharing the story about where you had that conviction and you decided to, you know, uh, take a different path? Man, that I mean. It, I was, I was, um, my, my cousin is crumb snatcher from Gangstar. So I had a lot of access to different people in music and I was on tour with D and D, um, before they closed down and sold it to DJ premier. And, um, around that time I started just, I moved, I moved out, you know, out of, out of, uh, Lemonster. I was out there and I moved away by myself. I said, I'm not hustling no more. I just stopped right after that um, tour. And then um, my brother was an uh, engineer for Murder, Inc. And uh, I would go to the studio uh, every week and just hang out and, and build with them. And I, I just remember on my brother's birthday, we, I was in the studio with Ja Rule. And I remember just talk, we were just talking and stuff. And um, I was driving home, man, I was going through Times Square and I just was like, would I, I don't even want to do this. I was like, I don't, it, I don't want to do it. Mm. I, I don't, I, I just had that feel. I just really didn't want to do it. And um, my, my pastor uh, at the time, right around that same time, I had started doing Bible studies at my house in Virginia. So now I'm going back and forth from New York every week. 
and I'm doing Bible studies and, and I'm just, this conviction is, is growing so mm. big and, and it, it is almost to the point where I'm like, man, if somebody does send me a deal, it, they're going to be highly upset. I mean, I had, I had a few on the table that I just, at that time, I just turned them down. I was wow. like, I can't, I just don't have the ambition to do this. Wow. Um, and, and that, that was the, the turning point there. No, and I, now I real mean, quick, just to, um, when you said you don't have the ab ambition to do this, did you mean the ambition to rap or are you talking about just go and pursue that direction? All of it. All, all of, of it. Because you know, you know what it was? It was, I, I stopped rapping after that. Oh, okay. Wow. I, I go from, I go from, uh, meetings with, uh, DJ premier, uh, fat Gary, shout out to fat Gary, um, to, not even doing music. Yo, why do we always go on that pilgrimage? It's like a common <laughs> theme for a lot of us. It's I like we become believers and we stop rapping. <laughs> it's pilgrims, yeah, yeah. rap progress. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> rapping is backsliding. <laughs> no, let me say. You know what it is, though? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, brother. Somebody asked me this question. It was like, my brother Rod, he's like, Abe, do you ever have like... um issues with when you write music like do you ever slip up and want to put some gangster stuff in there <laughs> and i'm like bro i there's a filter there right so yeah. i don't even it, it's very very easy to not fall into that right um, but, but what i do struggle with i said what i do struggle with is the environments that music brings me into facts the wow. environments the places that i would go the people who i was around the mm. temptation that was there. Hold on, hold that on, hold on. Issue. What environments are you speaking to? Um, the like, like the meetings you were having with with the producers and the artists and stuff. Like these environments. Uh, I mean, just the the clubs, the the shows. The, okay. You know. Mm. Um, Got it. J just those the, the studio. You know what I'm saying? I go to the studio now, and it, I bring all my kids with me. Dope. You see what I'm saying? They couldn't yep. come to the studio before. Right, right. I feel you. Know, you see what I'm saying? I you feel know? you. Um, and, and now, I remember Crumb got um, kicked out a few studios. <laughs> no, let me stop. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. I mean, it that was, was no joke. It was no joke. Yeah. yeah. That was always happening, right? And then you don't know what's going to happen there. You can't bring no kids up there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and into now um, being becoming content, right? And, and recording at my house. So oh. I just open the door. Everybody be quiet. Yeah, and then I close my door. And That's I how you do it, it like that. Like and I, and then I, <laughs> and I, nobody and I move, nobody get her. <laughs> yeah, daddy got to record. That's what's up. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they love it. So we, we're doing oh. all these things, um, you know. But that's what it was, man. Um, and it's and it's you're still you're still weak in your faith, you know. So you can't be around certain stuff. Mm. I don't suggest being around it if you're strong in your faith. Mm. Wow. Because right? it's these little, it's these small things. It's never anything huge. It's always like these small things. These small compromises, grow, right? Grow. Re yeah, real yeah. small compromises that you have freedoms in, these gray areas, and then yeah. not realizing that there's a small tug. To yeah, nobody starts off smoking crack. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's always something else that leads yep. to the crack. That's you know facts. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Those are like, gems, like bro. It's always, it, it escalates, you know, there's, there's cases where it happens, but I'm just saying in general, um, you know, we, we start these small things, stealing candy from the candy store yeah, and now you're knocking off TV bank. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it's just, we have to be very mindful of that. Very mindful of these small sins that don't mean too much. Mm. Um, when I, when I see my kids, do small things it really makes me pay attention Fact. because those small things is, is that's it yeah that's it yeah that's you it compromise right on that on that small thing and then it just yeah. it's like a um what do you call it the 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 ball rolling down the hill, like the snowball yeah it just grows it just slowly and grows, starts growing yeah. yep that's it and it's the same thing with your faith right Facts. You know, this, it's, 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 facts. We need we need faith the size of a mustard seed, which is like three millimeters. 
Facts. You always see that. You, I mean, uh, so wow. you look at it, and the, the Bible is telling you and pointing you, telling you like, you know, it's all these small things that are the same as. I mean, if if in our hearts we lust for a woman, mm. you've already sinned. So right. it's these small things yeah. that then turn into something else. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's a fact, bro. That is true. And, and you're always going to be feeding something. So it's all about what you're nourishing. Mm. Oh, worship. Worship is 24-7. Facts. People don't want to admit it, but you're worshiping 24-7. Exactly. Your worship is something. Yeah, moment by moment, your worship is something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's a fact. And there's no gray area. There's no gray area. Mm -hmm. there, there's not a, it, it's either this or that. Right. You know? And it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing it's, journey of revealing it, that. It's so dope because I like recently learned a, a basic principle of like constantly seeking to change yourself for the better. Mm. You know, yeah. growing, like constantly pushing mm. yourself to grow, basically. And in that growth, each time you grow in a certain way, let's say it's understanding or a new skill, you're constantly changing. You're you you're you're no longer that old version of yourself. You're a new version now because now you're equipped with something new. Mm. And it's funny because the principle is clearly as day in the Bible where Paul was saying, renew your mind daily. And you have a new mind now. So that yeah. old version of yourself is dead. You have a new version now. Mm -hmm. And they want you to do that every day. And that's something that I lost, bro, because, you know, it's just the thick of life. You know, you're going through it, you know, going to work, have the kids, all this stuff. You forget that there's a process that we are to continue to grow. Facts. Yeah. And we just yeah. stay stagnant, just yeah. life, 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 life. And if it's in everything we do, we are to continue to grow much more, obviously, in scriptures, in our understanding of God. But in all aspects of our lives, we should be growing, seeking to grow. The Bible says to. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And in that step, yep. and being stagnant is um, close to apostasy. In, in in apostasy, it's we have a believer that believed and then they're disregarding, turning away from the faith and, and falling back. We see that in Second Timothy, right, where um, we have a believer that is now turning back when he is he has already known the truth. We already know the truth. Uh, we already have accepted Christ. Um, but then we don't do the things to maintain it and further our growth. Mm hmm. You know, yep. and, and I think that is a um, very scary place to I mean, men, men cannot live by bread alone, but every word, you know, every word in, in this book here. And what, if we don't really take that to mean that, listen, this is more important than my dinner tonight. <coughs> this is more important than then the conversation I have to have, th this is more important than, than everything I need to do right now. <laughs> I, I had a, um, a class, man, and, and this was the coolest thing because it really did time management, right? So there's a chart. List, you list down your wife. Um, you list down the things that are important in your life. So you, your wife, your family, God, everything, you're listing it down. And you're breaking down how much time you're spending with each. And for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, I had my kids like on fourth or something. Like I was like, you know, I put my wife before my kids and all this weird <laughs> stuff, you know. And so I'm looking at it, I'm like, like, yeah. wait a minute. And, and my I'm math going is off. The study, and the study is like, <laughs> yo, put your kids up with your wife. <laughs> I see There's a disconnect out. here. Hold on. Like my wife, yeah. my Jordans, my <laughs> belt buckles, you and know, kids, children. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. yeah, man. <laughs> and, and it, but it was it was cool because now in, in seeing that, right, I have the obedience now to go back right. and, and and fix it. And I, I think I think that's probably one of the most important things we can do as Christians is wow fixing the things that we're doing wrong. Yeah. And, wow. and identifying our own sin and being disgusted with our own sin and yeah. in, in, in that way. And I, I think that's a beautiful thing right there. Somebody very pointing that hotel. Um people always try to gossip and stuff like that with me. And I always say, um, 
in this situation, can you see anything you've done wrong? And mm. People hate to tell me stuff <laughs> about other people. So I'm like, I, I wonder what the other person is thinking about you. <laughs> right, right. You know? and, and then you're in a feud, right? And yeah. then you're in a feud. So what is God saying about both of you? <laughs> Yo, that's a fact. <laughs> that's as a great quarrel- way to put it, man. As you're quarreling through your day, mm. you know? Um, and that's you know, a good that's protection against gossip, man. So say that one more time. So, so when somebody comes up and starts telling you something about whoever, y- you start, you just turn the convo on them, and and how, I, I literally ask them if if what would that person say? Like, are you? I actually ch- challenge some people. I'm like, are, are you open enough to say what that other person is thinking? Wow how 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 is it affecting them? How what what are they going through? Wow. And then together inside of your quarrel, what is God's response to that? <sighs> to the to the disobedience that everybody's having. In Wisdom, the brother. For real. You know? Wisdom, brother. And and you know what it is too? It's it's us reading, reading this, studying this, right? To the point where it comes out in the middle of a conversation in day to day, whatever's happening, somebody okay. pull over, curse you out. It just starts coming out and, it, and it's all you can do. You can't do anything else. It's like I'm in conversations and I'm going through scripture while I'm talking that I just can't yeah. help it. You know, <laughs> I, I just can't help it. Now. It's like, Does it get I ridiculous, though? It <laughs> like when somebody comes to you and be like, excuse me, I'm looking for a good insurance company. And you're like, thou shall not. <laughs> I'm going to give you the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no better insurance than the gospel, right? <laughs> Yeah, ma'am, man, I'm ma'am, gonna... there's no better yeah. policy than the policy. You can cancel of Jesus all Christ. that policy. Amen. Did you pay your tithes? Mm. Did you pay? Did you pay your tithes? Mm. Did you pay your tithes? <laughs> <laughs> you better give yeah. to your church. Yeah. You better stop yeah, giving to them taxes. <laughs> you know. You know, so but, so uh, so so in that in that transition in that period where you said, "All right, nah, I'm not gonna do this." Um, where did how did this how did you desiring to learn under you know under faithful men and theologians like where did that desire like stem from man that just that came from my leadership man pastor pastor foster floyd foster i met this guy pastor floyd foster um years ago this brother was in a um network marketing he you know and i was on his team and he had you know 10,000 people underneath his team. He's making all this money and we're rolling, man. He, he's like, man, I'm going to show you to do exactly what I'm doing, man. I, I'm just stay with me. And he would take me on trips and I would stay in his room, ride with him up there, listen to everything he's doing, watching everything he's doing. And, and um, he came to a point, he said, Avery, um, he pulled me aside. I said, Avery, man, I'm, uh, I, I've been studying this word, man, and um, I'm about to sell my business. He said, I'll, I'll probably sell it for maybe a million dollars or something like that. And I'll just I, I'll just be done with it. And I was like, million dollars sound good, man. That's a good price. Good price to sell it for. And um, time went on, time went on. And he said, man, I stopped working the business. You know, I don't even do it anymore. He said, um, I- "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give the business away." And in that same time, um, No Malice had a documentary that had came out on Netflix, um, and I remember that he, he was. And me and No Malice have the same creative director. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Batman. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, you know, at that same time, I'm now watching two people two successful people now turning away from um, their success. Oh, oh look know? at the little one, man. <laughs> that's, hey! that's, hey! <laughs> that's what's up, man. That look like so, my daughter. So, my daughter would do something you know, like she, that. Just pick her head You got to see the action. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, bro. I'm my son done jumped away, up on my on my lap way. one time in underwear, so it's, it's all good, bro. <laughs> Don't even sweat it. <laughs> it's like, is that Spider Man? Like, he just ran into the camera. But uh, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, at, at that time, man, I, I just started 
looking at these different authors and my pastor Foster, he was like, um, Hey, you got to check out this guy, John MacArthur. Mm. And um, I started seeing that and, and, and seeing what he was talking about and really looking in depth at the scriptures. And at that point I was like, man, I, I wasn't even truly reading the word of God. I wasn't reading it. It wasn't rightly divided. It wasn't penetrating. And and somebody asked me a question. How do you know that you are now reading what is supposed to be there? Mm. And the only thing I was like, the change, you don't see the change. You don't see the change. Like it's the change. Yeah. I've never stopped doing things because I felt it was dis dishonorable to God. I, I've never, I, I, I've always quit doing something for health reasons or cause I'm trying to do something else for myself or how it would benefit me in some way. I've never stopped doing things when I seen my heart start to change. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a real, I'm tr- I try to keep it as real as possible, especially with myself. When I seen that start to change, then I was like, man, yeah, this is, this is the power of the scriptures here. Mm-hmm. Th- this is, this is it. Yo, praise God, bro. It's a um it's a dope for real, bro. It's an honor to have you on with us and hearing this story is is really really a joy for me. Um even Gil, like we talked about it and and I mean, we had a convo about it and um you know, at logic I still got to build with him behind the scenes and um it's really I just I heard that track last week. I saw how God sovereignly connected us um together me having this show and and in all honesty bro we even stopped doing guests yeah yo we stopped doing guests like we were like Mm. you know what we're just gonna chill we're just gonna rock we're just gonna have a good time like let's just let's just chill let's just yeah you know let it be what it is just open candid convo and legit man last week when i when i confirmed that it was you i knew like i was like yo this is special man ave gotta come on Ave got to share his story and people got to see this. Um, this is just a creative journey that we have. And here you are, somebody who is desiring to honor God with something that you were pursuing in, in the previous, you know, before you, you came to know Christ, you were pursuing this endeavor and not only pursuing it like anybody else, you had people who were connected with people in the music industry. You had direct ties with people in the music industry and you were well on your way to make a deal that was going to be life changing for you in the music industry in the entertainment industry. And it was your conviction mm-hmm. and God's sovereign plan to stop you dead in your tracks, mm-hmm. uh, to lead you to a, a man who introduced you to sound theology and doctrine and that challenged your faith. And now mm-hmm. here you are studying under, um, you know, theologians and your music is reaching ears bro it came full circle to this show man like it's like yeah. man this is yeah, that's dope a blessing, man. Right? <laughs> that, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a blessing man and to see y'all having the show is equally like i'm telling my wife like man you're never gonna believe it <laughs> Yo, you're never real. gonna believe it i said the same he thing to my wife to for real, man. Man. never gonna believe this and, and it's 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 god showing his uh uh omnipotence right mm. like 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 yo i'm yeah I, i'm that dude so <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like and then to bring it together so that we can build like we're gonna build on this show or whatever but what no nah, this, this is this is way beyond that you know brother <laughs> are you kidding me? you already like, know you already know yeah, man like, it's going down. this is a like, good surface some blessing we shared, for the audience that's some cool we shared like crazy but, experiences in the world but behind the like, scenes now, yeah bro, this is gonna be this is gonna absolutely be dope. absolutely this man. is gonna be dope yeah and and it's it, i think that um even with addy um, I hit him up too because I was like, "Yo, yo was he pumped? What would he say, was he he... The... man? Yo, I'm get like, out of here! Was he pumped? <laughs> yeah, man, I love Addy, man. Good dude, man. He, Addy was in my wedding. Wow. Um, he, yeah, he was in my wedding. That that's I haven't talked to him since like around probably a couple years after that and stuff. But since COVID, <sighs> I haven't talked to him. Same wow. number. I hit him up. He's like, "Oh, hey, what up?" <laughs> like. We're, we're that close to these people. It's almost like, yo, <laughs> sit down, go through your phone and start to yeah. minister and wow. speak with everybody in your phone. Facts. Facts, because bro. Because how, how real is that? That's beautiful. That 
You you know what I'm saying? Like that's a brother that we could have been, you know, conversing with in, in Bible studies and just getting on, having a men's chat, jump on this same Zoom. Like, hey, yeah, let, let's 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 just, yo, brother let's Abe. Just let me let me bug you out even more. We have a brother Benjamin that's following right now on the live channel, who's from Ireland. And he's asking for your for your link to your music. He's all excited to to start following your music and what you're doing and whatnot. So, um, oh, Abe, dope, yeah, Shut yeah. Um, so you have a website, correct? Uh, yeah. Well, you can just just hit me on my Instagram, A V R E X Music, A V R E X Music, um, Spotify, A V R E X. Gotcha. I'm putting it down now. So shout out to Benjamin saying what's up. And now, Ave, your music is going to be streamed out in Ireland. So, <laughs> and I'm sure this brother's gonna, you know, put put Yo, it out there and let them know. I be a National Geographic, bro. Ireland, is, man. <laughs> yeah, man. He he legit Irish, like he yeah, legit yeah. legit. Yeah. yeah. So so brother, before we let you go, can you give us a quick um? I guess a quick I. I it might be hard for you to do, but if you can, if possible, how you connected with No Malice and a little bit about this track that we're going to go into called Step Into the Light. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. No Malice. Um, we connected through, like I said, Batman. Uh, we have the same creative director, and we're both, you know, I'm from up, up north, but, you know, I grew up down here, then I moved back, you know, so... Um, I knew Batman from back in the day. He was working with No Malice and me at the same time, and he was like, "Yo, we need to, we need to do a joint with with No Malice and and connect it, man." And um, that's how it happened, man. So we made Step Into the Light. Shout out to Astro. He's from a group called Three Sixty out there in Lawrence. Terminology, all them. Dope. Um, out there. And um, that you know we put him on the album. So I mean, that was it. And I, I still work with. Um, some of them some some certain artists you know what i'm saying um it, it has to be a certain record but um I, i'll tell you even working with jimmy a few years ago uh i had a, i have a song with spliff star uh, <laughs> oh do you who, for real who, yeah it's called who who god blessed oh get out of wow. here and I, and we went to i went to brooklyn with with uh jimmy capadonna everybody <laughs> and i i said man I, I can't do these records. I, I can't do certain records. Um, and, and the spliff was like, give me a minute. And he came back and he said, who God bless, no man curse. I said, that's it right there. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> we, so we, we shot the video in the slum and, and it, it, that was it, man. So it, it's still, you know, but I'm just not a slave to it. Um, yeah, yeah, you, know, you have. Mm, yo, a, that's a, a beautiful a, place to be, though. It really is, isn't it? It is. You get it to is, enjoy man. it with freedom. You create whenever you want. Yeah, like it's you're not you're not compelled to do it out of the need to get you know bills paid. You're not compelled to do it yeah. out of the need to satisfy your employer. You're literally free. And yo, I didn't see that freedom and that blessing for for a minute when I was first, you, you know, know pursuing this. You know what I mean? That, like with that freedom, I feel like God also unlocks things in your mind to create even better. For real. Because you're not restricted yeah. to, you know, these worldly systems or trying to sound dope or whatever it is. Like you just freely create because you want to glorify God. Right. I always say even even away from like if you can't curse on a record, you know, you have to have better words. The rhyme scheme becomes better when you don't use these. You Yo, know, ones. that's facts. You know what I'm saying? It just it just happens like that. But we we start to become a slave to this word. And, and truly, we're going to be enslaved to something. Right. Fact. Yeah. Um, that's but a fact. We, we take the lesser yoke in, in Christ and we, mm. you know, the Greek word for that, Dulius, uh, slave, servant. Um, uh, be, beyond a servant is I don't make decisions based off of, put it this way. Anytime I make a decision, I, I, I talk to my pastor because right. there's safety in the counsel of godly men. Mm. So I don't make, I don't make decisions without speaking to him. Mm. I don't, I don't, but being on podcast. Yeah, you can, but every time you do it, 
um, you would want to you would want to confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior every time you do it. Mm -hmm. That should be the number one goal anytime you're on it. Any type of show that anything you're doing, that's the number one goal. Amen. And that's why I come is because we can confess that the name of Christ as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Not bro. just as a, a a man. No, as as God, as as the one who is directing our steps now, um, omnipotent beyond any measure. I'm going through a study right now that says Jesus is beyond Moses. He's beyond Joshua. He's beyond Melchizedek. He he is the greatest, mm. the greatest God in the flesh. Amen. Trinity three and one, baby. <laughs> Amen. That's what's up. Three and one. <laughs> I love that. Yo, and and I was going through your discog discography that too. Should be the name of the show. And Trinity. There 301. you go. Yes, it is. Yes, Trinity it is. Sammy, put it down in the comment, please, so that way we don't That's lose it. it. Please. Right. Um. That's why, Abe, you were asking me, like, did, did I have the artwork for it beforehand? We don't, we create it on the show live, and then the podcast gets it afterwards. So I create, like, okay, an artwork okay. based off of, like, what we what we do here live, yeah. like, and then I create everything based off of that. But anyway, um, oh, bro, cool. um, cool. I'm going through your discography, and I'm like, yo, wait a minute, you got a track with Domingo Guyton, too? Domingo yeah. Guyton, that's, that, that's my dude, man. That's that's shout crazy. out to Domingo. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yo. Get up out of here. Domingo, that's my man. I, yo, I was um, I was locked up in juvenile, and he was working there writing one of his first albums. Wow. And that's, that's one of the reasons I started writing. And to take it a step further, uh, straight up, I don't know if you remember this, but we did a show with Guru for his birthday. Okay. And... And Domingo Guyton had that footage. So he <laughs> sent me the footage. We have a documentary now coming out with the footage. And that wow. record is a uh, Big Shug, Gangstar Foundation, and, and Domingo Guyton. I was like, I got to put these guys on this track. So That's wild. Yo, Domingo yeah. Guyton is that dude. Um, he's helped me out numerous times behind the scenes um he's he's that older brother for me man he's he's put he put in a lot of work behind the scenes with a lot of different people man mm. shout out yeah. to domingo man for real talk OG. about talk about servant heart man that we've dude. had him on the show oh, twice yeah. and uh the second oh, time was pretty dope good, when he did the video with his kids i think that was pretty fire yo brother super dope to have yeah. you on ave yes, brother sir. if you're more than welcome anytime to come through, even if it's an update to say what up. You know, we don't have to do this formal interview style. We could just open up and just catch yeah, up right. if you feel free to do that. You know what I mean? And, and, and yeah, want to rock yeah, with yeah. us. But we're definitely going to build. Uh, real quick, I want to shout out um, Chris, Chris Hun from Military Mindset. That, that's the uh, track that you got, um, Do It For The King. Oh, we're going to play Facebook. that too, by the way. Facebook. So I got that yeah. lined up as well. So shout out to him as well. All right, right brother, bro, man. Bro. Yo, it was an honor to have you on. I'm looking forward to uh, building with you behind the scenes, right, brother. Bro. If you got any right. final words for the for the audience, you can go ahead and... Yeah, see, yo, uh, if you watch this podcast, seek these brothers for, for your souls. You know, get saved if you're not saved, you know, Jesus Christ, accept him as your Lord and Savior. These brothers will do it for you, help you, help you get saved. They'll, they'll get the scriptures down for you, but there'll be a continuation um, of your studies so that you can understand the word. Not that you just speak the words that you believe, but that you also follow those actions and, and begin to study. So, so that's it, man. That's it. I love what y'all are doing. God bless y'all. Amen. Man, it's thanks, a blessing, bro. It's an honor, bro. So Yo, here's can't wait to build with you, bro. His A oh, step sure. into Let's get it, man. Yeah, his A step into the light. No malice. Abe, we're gonna build, brother. Grace and peace, bro. Later. Peace. peace. What up, DJ B Fresh Radio? New joint. Averex featuring no malice, step into the light, let's go. Step into the light, we all gonna die one day. 
Go to sleep, we gon' fly one day Step into the light, pay for your sins one day You'll have to go repent one day Step into the light, we all gon' die right. one day Go to sleep, we gon' fly one day Step Ooh, into the light, pay for your sins one day yes. You'll have to go repent one day Step into the light Bear witness, the truth is the light of men Even in the darkest pit, you can see the light again Can't tell me nothing with all the hell that I done been Even at times, I still feel that it's hell I'm in Lose or win, either way it's elementary I'm doing good, haven't escaped a quarter century Only by the blood, there's no other way of entry Last supper, fine arts, I am a da Vinci Simply put, I paint pictures Y'all can't believe they ain't scriptures Lift us up, oh Lord, like Noah in the ark, I want us all on board The price been paid that none can afford He gave us his word just to fall on sword Swore by his own name, no higher oath Me, I'm just a no-name, sharing what I know Step into the light, we all gon' die one day Go to sleep, we gon' fly one day Step into the light, pay for your sins one day You'll have to go repent one day Step into the light, we all gon' die one day Go to sleep, we gon' fly one day Step into the light, pay for your sins one day You'll have to go repent one day Step into the light Let the devil's level, shovel the tragedy Your majesty rapidly, accurately display the masterpiece The captives martyred before the father's not a tragedy Will happily oblige, show a unified faculty Master in the book and study, learning the laws too Riding for the cause, engaging my flaws too Smack me, turn the other cheek, I show you what that cross do Forgiveness for being forgiven, that's why I lost You went from pitching in kitchens to serving God's mission From fishing for fishes to fishing for God's missing We all victims of sin and some indulge in linen some Fast cars and women detached from the feeling Let it go like you selling it online Cause he ain't leaving He a perfect 10 like Cal next to Keenan And I ain't dreaming, I'm believing in the most high The devil still slither so you watch him with Step both eyes Step into the light, we all gon' die one day Go to sleep, we gon' fly one day Step into the light, pay for your sins one day You'll have to go repent one day Step into the light, we all gon' die one day Go to sleep, we gon' fly one day Step into the light, pay for your sins one day. You'll have to go repent one day. Step into the light. Dope, 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 dope. That's that shout out to A. That makes you want to do the stank face. Step into the light. The whole time. Y'all come to say. I guess I'll pay that. Step into the light. Tu huele eso. So, Brother man. Ave, I see you in the in the in the chat. Yo, it was a blessing, dude. It was super dope, man. I I mean a lot of things Yo, unfolded. Yo, Ave, because of you, everybody's gonna think that Step the studio the smells, light. bro. Hey, the what do you time, mean? Like, <laughs> just got that steak face the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> I'm like, damn, look at Gil, man. It like, must smell in that studio. Look at Gil, man. Jane, What's dude. Mario take off his shoes, man? What's <laughs> <laughs> Dude, man, going on like, over you there? don't hear music like that, bar for bar, like just going in f- with with God's Step truth, bro. Like life. just, it's, like you don't hear as much. Every, they're Step out there, life. but you gotta search. Like you gotta really go out there. And it's such a simple hook, too. Yo, Step I feel tempted. Yeah, hey, listen, we got three tracks to play. I feel tempted because I want to take a quick break. Um, you want to just play another track right now? I do. I want to play back to back, bro. Look at straight you. Abe take over. You rule breaker. Dave take over. Here's from last week. Do it for the king. Mario rule. Doyle rules. Do it for the king. Remix featuring Dre Murray. Military Mindset Productions. D Black. Mouthpiece. Oh, shit. Asaze Murray. Let's get into it, man. Let's go back to back. Let's go back to back. Do this for the king, for them rappers wrapped in bling bling, locked in sing sing as blood can spring clean. Thugs that gunsling from blood and cuts team. The scene is obscene, but the scenery is ripe for the harvest. Whole family coming with gifts like the partridge. Artists is arson, it's important, it's like cartridges, it's marvelous like Hagler. Leave the 99 grind, go after the straggler. For the blood. 
Once they draw blood, we face Draculas No cap, you do the math, it's like calculus No slack, Lee in his pack, I'm like Maximus Sold out, he paid the tab, that's why they taxing us They wanna shut us down, kill the Christ in us But the fight in us, light in us, don't light limits So we break glass when it's light tenant Sight centered on Christ with a slight grimace Like Mike, we strike kitten. I retire my heat, D-Wade, I still feel free To walk through any hood like who want beef Oh, mild man with no hammer, they can't touch me Finally taking my force, man, horseman's creed And I'm whack in the street with liars and braggers You bring more calm than palm trees and hammocks To the drug addict with vein tracks Is used up when the moon full, the spoon full They shoot up, shooting up Be astronauts and rockets Fish bowl over the neck, sword in the pocket Salvation helmet, the sword of the spirit Curly head kid, I'm Lando with lyrics Give me space, Star Wars with four doors If you like the coup, we can shoot like outdoors There's bars for the body, but the roof is all lowered do it for the king till he asks for encores, oh Do it for the king, do it for the king We don't do it for a name, more than just a fame Ask me why I do it, I'ma say the same We do it for the king, do it for the king Do it for the king, do it for the king We don't do it for a name, more than just a fame Ask me why I do it, I'ma say the same we do it for the king, do it for the king They ask me why I do this, I'm doing this for the truest Hold up, it's the remix, I'm doing this with the crew It's influenced by God, fluent with speech Teach congruently, reach those who've been ruined by speech From some rappers who preach the streets to Capture the weak minds who don't back that was reap when you sow blind Reap when I sow lines like fabrics Cut from a different cloth, no average Pattern after the one who patterns Saturn The moon and the heavens, I'm consumed by his blessings Not consumed by the weapons of my enemy My energy is inner seed. tell Judas Venaki I'm menace Walking like a Moses on on top with a boat is like a lotus at my lowest i was stoic not heroic i'm devoted know his word living quoted pray these verbs really show off the curb on the road to the streets where i reached and leave pray my feet landed plan and understand that i do, do it, it for the, the wisdom and proverbs synthetic parallelism sprinkled through god's word shema bearish sheet anesthetic when i speak synonymous with the speech bon appetit Hating like Satan, man they Haman, downpouring dry season, boy he raining, book of chronicles he logical, 714 counting 9 in the north, you need 11 more kings, don't do it for the rings or the fancy things, treat the track like perm, we can dance and sing, now it's praise to the most high, used to let the toast slide, now we break bread, think of him when we toast wine, hung him like a clothesline, opened up a closed mind, what we doing for, his majesty is beautiful, Sadducees was fluent though, came to delude him, slow word became flesh, that's why we do it though, do it for the do it for the king. We don't do it for a name, more than just the fame. Ask me why I do it, I'ma say the same. We do it for the king, do it for the king. Do it for the king, do it for the king. We don't do it for a name, more than just the fame. Ask me why I do it, I'ma say the same. We do it for the king, do it for the king. Stop do Dope, yeah. Yes, wow. I am, Gil. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, then. Yes, I am, Gil. Do it for the king. That's what's up, man. Shout out to Ave. That no was dope. If you guys are just ch chiming in right now, definitely go back, check out um, the interview we just conducted with Ave. Um, super dope. Great testimony. Um, super dope. It was encouraging, man, to yeah. see where he came from, like to where he is now. See where he's at. And yeah, man. Super encouraging, man. Got and on gear. top of that, he has to put the cherry on top. He's going to seminary. I think it's wild how God was like, I'm not going to just save you i'm gonna save some of your cousins some of the people you went to <laughs> you know some of the your, some of your friend your best friend your wife like it's man dude like it's man praise god praise god indeed it's he has the power to save it's unbelievable thank you i was not expecting that i i mean i heard at one point rapping I heard at one point rapping. What do you mean? Like Ave, like, you know, he was rapping. Yeah. But then to hear that he's studying, <laughs> like he's going to school for this and he's studying that's and crazy. he's learning Greek and all this, man, it's like, wow, that's another level. He really going to trip up man. some people in the hood when he comes out with Greek. <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> Ain't nobody in the hood. Oh, like. Actually, he didn't get a chance to talk about it. He wrote some tracks and I don't know, should I say it? Yo, you still in there? Hey, hey he, he said he wrote tracks in Greek. Wow, that's crazy. And of course he would. He's, he's a lyricist and he's learning And he might be releasing them. He might be releasing them too. Oh my goodness. All right, so you heard it here. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say yeah, that's it. That's fire. Oops. <laughs> oops. You forgot no, the no. <laughs> Once again, you forgot Well, the I got a sermon. 
Yeah. I got a sermon that's we recorded about it. out there. Sorry, guys. You I'm should send it to Ave and just be like, shh, don't tell nobody it's me. <laughs> Yo, why is it that? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why are why do our sermon voices change? Because why does why do our a, accent, have, dude, we why have does our accent change our our we have a voice for we, everything bro <laughs> we have a voice tell for me, everything tell me, tell it, me. it doesn't matter like it, we, just be like yo what up man? your boss comes for like <laughs> nah man this dude is crazy <laughs> yes sir uh huh yeah no I put it on the counter <laughs> no it's on the counter yep it was at it was at approximately three thirty when I put it down mm hmm all right I'll let you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one yesterday. Yeah. All right. So yeah, bro. The other day, man, like it was crazy. Like, it's the voice. Wow, Everybody does. Those my wife does people? the same thing too. Those are three different people. Yes, my wife. Who are you does talking the to? Who are the three people thing? that you just talked to? Real quick. It wasn't three. Yeah, that was you, and okay. then my boss, and then back to you. Oh, I don't know. There was an in between there. Somewhere. There was an in between. <laughs> Yo, Shoot, my wife does the same thing dude, too. She's like, experience Yo, why don't you just go over there? Look, it's open. It's right over there. <laughs> yes, uh, what can I help you? Is that <laughs> line? Yeah. Oh, we we happy to help you. I'm like, why do I don't get that? <laughs> the hospitality. Could because it doesn't have the same She's effect. Can you imagine you. that? Gil, can you please put that over there? I told you. Right? Six that would times. be so much pleasant. I told you six times. <laughs> like, you can't say how do you say that? With that kind of voice. I already told you six times. Right? That would be fire. Hi, Gil. I told you last week. I feel like I feel like a couples will probably be so much better if they just talk to each other that way. I could never talk to you. Can you imagine no? if you came home like? Why can't you tell me? Explain it to me, please. <laughs> explain it to me. You know how why much can't, why a, a can't resolution you, you would have if bad. you walked home and you were like, I feel bad for Honey. Sammy because Sammy represents all women right now. <laughs> You so, Sammy, that. on behalf of all women, why no, do you guys do that? <laughs> but honestly, though, how much, how much, why do you do that? How much conflict would we miss if every time we got upset? We Good were night, like, brother, man. You know what? I can see that you're upset. And instead of us getting upset, let's find a solution. Mm -hmm. Yo, she's on here. Careful. <laughs> Get him, Leslie. Wow. She's Get on him. here. Cuidado. <laughs> Yo, he's blowing it up. <laughs> but I'm just saying, we do it all the time. You, I do it. I have the voice. Hold up, Leslie. Oh, that's for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. If my pillows are on the ground, I understand. <laughs> Yo, you want? Well, is I supposed to do it? Oh, What's the cue? Oh. You're supposed to give me the cue. Okay, keep going. Okay, so see yeah. how see how many examples you can give us. What do you mean? You give us a bunch of examples. What? I'm gonna follow with the oi. Examples of what? Examples of how how she can talk to you in a sweet oh, way. So in other words, go, 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 instead go. of being my friend and trying to get past the situation, you're basically <laughs> handing me a shovel mm -hmm. so I can dig deeper. So I want you guys to understand the psychology of this. Wait, how do you, For the how entertainment that, of this show, yes he handed hold me up, a shovel and a, said, here, give us any more examples up, where your wife up, is pause, mean to you. Pause. Is that a yes and? That's huh? not a yet proper yes and. It is and. a yes and. It is so proper. Because <laughs> instead of helping me. You're supposed to say, well, okay, and play my little mischievous game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, and I will die. Ding! What was that? <laughs> what was that shot? The skit you said about the dude says the most said, wildest thing, and, he, the and he always I ends up in the grave. Then I'll be more happy. Like the, like the wife, he says, "Is it too salty?" And he goes, <laughs> "Yo, what was that's gonna be hilarious, baby. I want steak. I will be happy to assist you with that steak. <laughs> How would you like that, medium rare? Oh, coming right up. Yo, and you, as she's cooking it, I hear, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> "Is that pleasant for you?" <laughs> as you wait. On hold. Uh, hold up. I will talk to you the way I talk to customers then. I'll be more happy. I'll be more than happy to assist you with that, Miss Mr. Vargas. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So so I'm like, yeah, so I'm like, babe, I, I'm really in the mood for steak. I'll be happy to assist you with that, Mr. Vargas. <laughs> Would you like that medium or well done? Sure. I actually have some cauliflower with that. <laughs> cauliflower. Why is cauliflower proper, bro? Like this? Huh? Because it's healthy. <laughs> oh, okay. It's better, it's better than you know. Sorry. A heathen would eat French fries. You know. 
Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> or or uh, mashed potato loaded. Yeah, that's just <laughs> just just what everything. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try to eat healthy. Can you give me a baked potato? <laughs> what do you want on it? Um, just bacon. Yeah, actually, bacon, uh, can you cream, add sour butter? Cream? Uh, brown sugar. Actually, can you do some cheese a little bit? Um, now I'm hungry. <laughs> do you just want it fully loaded? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> sure. Fully loaded, please. Yeah, sure. Fully loaded. You went from healthy to heart attack. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. What's your first like, two I thought you were on a diet. Look, they gave me three sprigs of, co- of corn. And it's a baked potato. Some, uh, Leave milk. me alone. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> it's a baked potato. You're not even eating the potato. You're eating all you're the stuff they put in your on arteries. It. <laughs> you didn't even eat a single potato. <laughs> you're just like cheese. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Yum. So give me some sour cream, some bacon, some cheese, <laughs> some butter, some sour cream, and add a little bit of potato on the top. <laughs> Yeah, she said, if you get annoying, she'll mute potato. you. What was that? Yo, if you get annoying, I'll mute you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I'm just playing. I was just using oh, that man, as an that example. Would be fantastic man, I wanted to play this button. game, though. Oh, it's going to be cool, okay. man. The game. Okay, we'll, let, let, we'll name them. We'll, we'll name them. She's an amazing cook. Oh, here we She's go. She's beautiful. <laughs> She is yes! the apple Wisdom! of my eye. Wisdom. <laughs> she is wow. the yin to my yang. Wow. Wisdom. She is my vice to my president. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's amazing where you wanted friend. to go with it. <laughs> and I love her. She's the bestest in the westest. Baby. You're supposed to. Uh, also, for when I say good things about my wife, oh, I don't sorry. get no. Oh, but if I would have been like, <laughs> she's an awful human being, she yells at me for this. And, bring the meteor. Oh, they bring the meteor on. <laughs> Just bring it on down. Oh, wow. Bring it on down. Bring the That's meteor basically what Mario was trying to do with my wife. Come on. Say, go ahead, bring on that. This is not good for ratings. Do no. <laughs> we need drama in suspense. <laughs> we need believe, drama. Like these people. Yo. Okay, man, should I leak stuff? I mean, I didn't get the deal, leak right? What? I didn't get the deal, so I can say things. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I could be vague. I had somebody tell me <laughs> they wanted to do a documentary. Man, can I be vague? Like, <laughs> how do I do this? Uh, so I, I was about to, in the process of doing a documentary. Okay. They, that's about? Me. <laughs> and it was, the documentary is about you. Yeah. Oh. And I thought, I was assuming, I was like, maybe it's about like being a Christian hip hop artist or, because it was when I was doing the Spiritually Dead. Mm. So it was like, oh, maybe it's just about like, you know, this this video just dropped, you know, people loving it and they put it in the festivals and all that kind of stuff and it was great. And so maybe it was just, she wants to catch catch something before it takes off. We were in the process of talking to Netflix, all that stuff, like things were moving. So I was like, okay, let's go with it. So I'm like, all right, we're going to do a documentary. So what is it about? Like, what I do to like create the songs? Like, what I do on my normal day to day? I don't understand how this is going to work. Like, I work. Mm. Like, I don't understand. Oh, no, we'll just follow you around with the cameras. Like, we'll be in your crib. Like, like all that. I'm like, okay, this is a little weird. Babe, remember this? Mm-hmm. And I was like, babe, are you okay with this? Like, they'll be in our house this is, with a camera uh, this crew. This is upsetting because this is something that I've been wanting to do my entire life that I've known Mario. <laughs> and, and, a crew and film his life. Because the behind the scenes, guys, man, if you guys just see the things that I've seen, it'd be an amazing show. <laughs> amazing. And somebody was actually you going know, to do it. I was upset about that. I was like, I was supposed to be the one to film them. <laughs> Not so, whoever this is. So they, so they were saying, we're just going to follow you and do your thing. Like, you do your thing, we'll follow you with the camera crew. And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's straight. Okay. I mean, I got a boring life. If you want to see me, like, just go <laughs> to work and, and do this and do, you know. Boring. Stop. Yeah, okay, so, boring. <laughs> bro, I can't trust you to do my document, my, how you call it, biography. You do want me to do your no, document. man. Because it would make millions. <laughs> Some things you got to, The you truth know. shall set you free. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm already dead. Like, how is that setting me free, man? I'm a- I'm free in Christ, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm free in Christ. So, and then she goes, uh, they're going to they're gonna be times where maybe they did like- Bruce Lee on you, man. We're going to go in the other direction. No, no. the same they're exact be, commercial. Gonna, no, they're going to be times where maybe a clown might come up to you and like do a magic trick. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? 
There's I'm like, be wait a, a minute, point, Mario, in the documentary huh? where you turn into a or, power or something like something. You know, something might happen. <laughs> something There's gonna be a time where you know we might we might script some things. It's gonna be totally real. And I'm you like, know, we want the essence of Mario, but there may be moments where you walk on water. <laughs> Like, wait, what? There may be moments where there's a gang that's shooting at you. You're going to get in the getaway car, <laughs> drive away. We're going to have a stunt double who's going to come but in. But it's going to be gonna, all real. Don't gonna worry totally about real. it. It's going to be it's just about your life. That's not my, this is not my life. What is it's this? about your life. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> just little random <laughs> moments of things that happen, like in Hollywood, like just random action <laughs> film that went from documentary to uh, boom, action. Uh, and then like, so, like stabbed <laughs> here. Um, don't wait, wait, don't worry about it. Everything. It'll but be okay. I say that to say that, you know, those reality shows, a lot of them are not, a lot of them are just scripted, bro. A lot of, a lot of the stuff is all fake. Of course. I mean, they, like, I'm not dumb, especially when you, even when the look at the shows that we watch now, like, you know, uh, the real world. <laughs> look at the news. No, <laughs> like, you no, know, no, all these like shows, these reality <laughs> TV shows, the, uh, the Bachelor and all these, you could tell like they control the narrative. They control what happens. Yeah. They control the emotions. You know, why do you think these people get tons of liquor in specific moments and they get hammered? Uh, yeah, you watch the show, you're like, why is everyone hammered? It's a setup. <laughs> Of yeah. course, they know. You give a bunch of people alcohol, put them all in one room, and watch what happens. <laughs> and lights, <laughs> like, camera, And then alcohol. people are like blown away. Like, oh my God, Action. did you see last week? He got hammered and he punched someone. Crazy. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite normal. Yeah. <laughs> you can go down to the, 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 the main street of any city, and you'll probably see somebody get decked. As they're inebriated. Mm. It's like they know. They're orchestrating every single little detail. And it's funny when you actually see them act badly. And they're like, oh, I can't believe it. Hey, God. He's clearly not the one that can act. So it, the, when they say reality TV, they, they're they actually setting the boundaries. It and just means it's happening in real life. It's just, yeah. So they're, <laughs> so, they're saying, so they're saying So they're saying there's a real story here. But... It's us to make it entertaining. Yeah. We're going to throw in a whole bunch of alcohol. We're going to set the scene. We're going to set the scene. So we're going to set producing. up conflicts with certain well, people. A lot of them even said, like a lot of the reality stars would say they only took take certain clips. They don't even show you the whole story. All facts. Mm -hmm. To create like the image of something yeah. else. I actually was watching a documentary. Do you remember when there was that humongous brawl in the NBA where the fans got don't involved? Don't even tell me. Fake. No, it's not that it was faked. It's just that when that whole thing happened, the organizations never showed what actually happened. Okay. The only thing they showed was the basketball players attacking people or okay. the basketball players fighting. So you could literally see how the whole narrative played out. Thugs, unprofessional, blah, blah, blah. Then they started investigating and seeing that it was actually the, a fan that started the whole thing. Yes, there was a fight within the, the, the players. But that happens all the time. How many times have we watched the game and you see the basketball players push each other? Happens for about two or three minutes. <clears throat> they all go to their spots and they just go back to normal. And it's like, it never happened. But this situation was different. All of a sudden, there was trash being thrown and all this. The fans got on the court and started fighting. But none of that was shown. The only thing that was shown was the so players. It makes you think... It so makes the narrative think, like, was like mm. these dudes are criminals. But it makes you think like how much of it. So in that situation, do you think that it was the things that they left out, the story that they left out, that was the real story, right? Yeah, because it's it's exciting. Okay. P players think, are fighting each other and then that fighting they, fans. That's way more exciting than a fan starts a riot and gets right. and, and <laughs> kills you, everything. Do you think that they that they're desperate enough to take it a level further than that? And actually be the ones that are in the crowd starting it up. Oh heck, yeah. Yes. Just to instigate. Yes. So they have footage and they have something to report I on. I mean, check the facts, but it just found out that even the whole January 6th thing was orchestrated. That was just released. But yet everybody was. Is that saying, the thing you posted today? No, no, that was a COVID-19 thing. I oh, was just like, okay. what is going on? Because it was a lady from the CDC saying one thing and then like three or four months later saying completely contradicting what she <laughs> said four months before. But anyway, that's, I digress. Okay. But in this regard... <laughs> that ain't that important. In, that, in this regard, like, know. it's just crazy how things can be changed to whatever narrative 
is trying to be portrayed mm. even down to that so yeah. even something on a grand scale of the government like yeah. you know the whole voter thing and everything going down everybody's like oh my goodness the country is divided come to find out that there was some sneaky business going down and it really? wasn't so black and white as people said really? like oh it was protesters oh it was trump or oh it was uh you know the, <laughs> the, said, the don't people say it. youtube is gonna block you <laughs> it's facts yo but it's a fact the news came out it. it's everywhere you guys can check it out for yourself it's it's out like you know they some more evidence is coming out that it wasn't as clear and the whole point of me mentioning this is because the narrative was painted however they wanted to paint it I'm not naive to know that people don't know what is actually going on, which is why they're painting a narrative because they don't want the truth. Doesn't out. it kind of like it, it? Well, yo, you know what's beautiful, bro? Because my journey was like through this when we started talking about trending topics and making that a, a thing for this show. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we listen. We peel back the curtain. That's what we're known for. So we don't yeah. care. Yeah. We, this is this is That's what we know. We for. talk about what we talking about. Exactly. So. When we were trying strategies out and techniques, because mm. that's what all of us do. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me spill Girl, out of crush it. That's what every podcast, every YouTube, yeah. everybody is doing. Go strategies and it, techniques. Man. Let me just throw it out there so you guys can know the truth. I spoil it, right? It's like people are like, yeah. ah, there goes Mario again spoiling it. I forgot. <laughs> He's so bitter. <laughs> just be a podcaster, Mario. Stop being so Just bitter. be a YouTuber, Mario. No, I refuse. No. <laughs> I am not your YouTuber. All right? No. <laughs> I will always be uh, the one to go, wah. I don't like it. I don't like any of the structure. I don't like it. The infrastructure needs to be torn down completely. <laughs> <laughs> or built up because it doesn't exist. I don't like all of, any of it. And then they build it up, and I'm like, I still don't like it. Do another one. Do, it. Do another one. <laughs> I want another flavor. I'm never satisfied. No, um, uh, I forgot where I was. Oh, because everybody's doing these. Tra so in that yeah. in that thing when we were doing it, you pick up on a bunch. Of, look, it's a bunch of trash. Yeah. And I don't mean like uh, when I say a bunch of trash. What does that mean? A whole bunch of information and propaganda and agendas and marketing and agency and people reaching into your dollars. I mean, into your into your bank accounts and your wallets and your pockets. Everybody out there hustling. Everything. You're Everybody. constantly bombarded. And I say this all the time. Everybody. I use the word bombarded a lot. I'm tired of saying it. But anyway, so you got so as we were looking at that, I came to realize I'll I'll give you the conclusion. Don't worry. Follow me. I came to realize, I was like, yo, all this is Vanity, but vanity. All is vanity. <laughs> oh, everything. Uh, oh, what is the purpose? All a man has is What is, is the work. meaning? What is life? the meaning? You know? Van oh, nothing is good. No one seeks the Lord. No, not one. True, true, true. Everything true. Yep. Right? I'm the chief of all sinners. Ah, what? Well, what good is it? <laughs> like, and then you have nothing but Christ, right? You're in a moment where you're just like, yep. you know, you don't look, hope to these things. They're stripped from you, you know, especially if you're comfortable Especially if you're comfortable. If you're comfortable financially, if you're comfortable, just con completely content with no desire to move and be sanctified and grow in your understanding, and you're just now, that contentment can lean toward laziness and, and sort of neglect at times if you're not actually, if it's the wrong content, if it's lazy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, so then you see, you see all these things and you're like, what's the purpose of of, of What's the purpose of exerting energy to succeed? What is the purpose of moving forward to achieve anything? Uh, fitness, uh, anything. You start questioning philosophy and life and reading exactly. the Bible, learning the word and just yeah. looking at life, dude, and examining things and really weighing things out. And then the Lord shows you to honor me in all things. To honor me in all things Amen. means to be a good steward of all things that God gives. Means to desire to see those things nourished and grow. Yeah. The desire to excel with the understanding that God determines the outcomes, but God also tells you to be a good steward and to desire these things. Amen. And then also says to seek wise counsel, to count the cost, to Facts. so on and so forth. 
Facts. All the principles of life are right there in the scripture. And then there's men who have lived in society and through their knowledge and wisdom of truth and facts have written other books that we can use to our advantage that can unlock wisdom and knowledge in our own current circumstances. Because that's what these dudes did. They lived life. So the Bible is the core. That's the core. That's what keeps it all yeah. together. That's what keeps all of it together. The Bible is the core. But then there's other books that expound on specifics. And they expound on principles that are found in life. Yeah. Even in the scriptures. And who do you think determines those principles? So it was being polluted with the systems because the systems want to, the algorithms, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they want to yeah. take that. So you're stuck and you're warring with yourself because guess what, everybody? Drama and suspense and all that equals stats. More views. Yep. That's More why, eyes. yo, bro, you, the only reason why they're selling that on TV, you know what they say? You know what people are always saying? Oh, it's programming. Oh, they're doing this to brainwash us. Oh, they're giving up these shows so we can, you know, be captivated and taken away by all these different thoughts and ideologies. And no, 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 no. They're giving you what you want to see. It's not, yep. they're not trying to give listen if you loved good stuff guess what they would be putting on tv good stuff yep they're only doing the bad stuff and all that stuff all the stuff you can't show your kids you gotta even you yourself gotta discern like can i even watch this like what is this glorifying right now yeah and you know how you know that that's happening is because if you look at how movies have progressed stuff that they would have never shown 20, 30 years ago. Mm. Now it's like, no yo, problem. Yo. You wouldn't see a, a head getting stomped on the ground and the guts flying out yo, everywhere. Like 30 years ago, Some like in a movie? Like, what? You'd be like, uh, whoa, that was a little... Over and if you top. did see a movie that like that, it <laughs> yeah. was like an underground film. But it wasn't mainstream. Man, we were producing Home Alone, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> movies like Home Alone. Yeah. We weren't producing no crazy mass murdering, like, uh, and you had to go really underground to see those crazy, crazy. But back 30 years from now, it was a lot cleaner. You look at now, you got TV series that are killing movies. Right. On the gruesomeness. Right. On uh, gore. Yep. They give me, they giving like you what sick you, sadisticness, yeah. like yep. shows, and those let shows alone are movies, and those shows pick up like, those, and that's because people watching it. Yeah, and yo, you put something like Walking they Dead, they become very successful, and how gruesome that show is, and how it blew up. What do you think people are gonna do? Wait, how many people did you get to watch? For you got a hundred and fifty million people to tune in for Walking Dead. I thought that gruesome stuff was like a big no no. Wait, hey, man, well, we got one hundred fifty mil on the first week. Mm -hmm. So all the shows are going to be like, so then how can we push the envelope? They did it with zombies. Can we do that with assassins? Those ratings, those ratings and those stats and those views and all that stuff, it shows you where the desires are. For real. You it can literally, you and, all it, and it's funny because all those things are straight up in the Bible. Yep. <laughs> it's like those deprived nature that we always talk about. Look at TV and you get a great glimpse of the depravity of man. Yeah. <laughs> to just watch TV. And you realize that being in this, on this side of things, to have strategies and techniques, yeah, you, now you realize like, oh, it's a setup, man. If, if you're not being a good store, it's a setup. Yeah. To pursue it with the wrong motives from the jump is a setup. Because then you get desperate. And the Lord is saying that now is not the time. Trust in the Lord's time. The Lord is saying now is not the time. But you get desperate. You're like, yo, now is the time. And I'm going to take matters in my own hand. It's just like the idea of vengeance is the Lord. Is the Lord's. You want to be your own avenger in the moment. And you want to make sure you're treated well. And you want to, because, you, you, you know, you, you deserve to be treated well, right? In our minds, we're like, yo, you don't. I don't deserve that attitude. You know what I'm saying? And now you're like, oh, heck no. You ain't going to talk to me. And, it's, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. But it's amazing though like when you look at these men, you know, and 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 you see how God changes how they think and 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 how they react 
to things. Mm. Cause you, you, we, we put ourselves in everything, you know. Even in these movies, we, we put ourselves in everything, which is why it's, it's not wise though, to watch. You know, like it's when when you grow out of that and mature out of that. Now, like Ave, look at Ave. Ave, for Ave real. is like, man, for real. I don't need to sign no deals. For I'm real. content where I'm at. I don't need to sign no. I don't need to go pursue nothing. I don't need to go. But even in that, bro, he look at what he was saying mm. that. He calculated the time of his life and he saw how important it was to study. And it wasn't until he started really taking time out to put into that practice of studying and renewing himself and seeking to change and become a new version of himself that he was able to get to the point where he's like, I honestly don't care about blowing up, uh, fame, money, like, eh. It miss, you know, I, I'm actually more, I actually care more about learning this Greek right here. Right. <laughs> and if you look at it, it's very similar to the people that we follow in the scriptures. You could tell the last thing on their mind was the world and, you know, things around them. They were just like the word and applying these things to themselves. And a lot of times we don't really pay attention, but people like John, I mean, uh, Paul, he was a tent builder. He was still applying, even in his business pra uh, practices. He was. He had multiple streams of income. He had, <laughs> I'm not saying he had multiple streams of income, but he worked. Yeah, you know what I mean. He, I'm sure he used his knowledge in the, in the you, scriptures the, to the, the, start the businesses so that he can. Do you think if the apostles lived in this time, and maybe this is why God didn't do this, because God, like God knew, like if the apostles lived in this time. They would have been face, like doing live, like Instagram live and stuff. No, like, <laughs> no, no, heck no. Like, no. To like, like Paul, Paul is, is, is live. <laughs> I am out in Rome. He's like giving these men the I'm word. I'm gonna give you three steps on how to change your life <laughs> with this leather Bible right here. You can buy it right now for twenty nine ninety five. I know I'm an apostle. I work with Jesus. <laughs> you think they had marketing <laughs> ideas and like, yeah, how do we market this? You know, you want to be successful in Christ. You need to crush it with the Bible. <laughs> you see him working out. It's like Paul working out. Why am I watching Paul work out? Like, what is going uh, on? Change your body with in ninety days. Just take a stack of Bibles and lift it up every day, bro. Every day. And he's selling his own energy drink. <laughs> this is the Paulian. No. The oh, ex Paulian. No. Oh man, <laughs> good stuff, bro. I, I think that that they would be rebuking a lot of people right now. I think they'd be rebuking a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be rebuking. Uh, it, would they be rebuking them publicly, like on Facetime? Like I'm gonna. <laughs> no, man. You are. Right, if we're talking about Paul, and we're talking about these dudes who oh, traveled no. long Stop distances. The truth. Paul Stop would the straight truth. walk right. over to these influencers. We can't. We can't. He'd be like I Listen. have traveled no. thirty thousand miles we to reach bring. you to tell you you're a heathen. Time out. We can't bring these guys. We can't automatically assume that. The way that they lived culturally, culturally in that time oh. is the proper way. If Thanks. the apostles were in this time, they would be in cars. Yeah, right. They're not going to be in robes and sandals. But it would have been would way funnier have if phones? he actually traveled in sandals. Would, would they have, the way to would they have cell phones? Of course. Yeah. Would they have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Come on, know. man, help me. Maybe. Out. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Would Maybe. they have a YouTube channel? Because they were so the real 12, zealous no, to the getting real the scriptures out there. So, I like that. I like that. Huh? The real 12 or like... <laughs> the real 12. Some kind of dope intro logo. <laughs> They're live. Would they put we live in caps? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> we live! Explanation. <laughs> would wow. They, would they hashtag? <laughs> wow. And you know how I, you know how I, like in the sitcom shows, oh my you know how goodness, in the sitcom man. shows, like they used to hashtag, like, they, they used to show each character, uh, and each character would do an action, and their name would come up. It would be like, uh, yeah. and on the <laughs> <of> all. <laughs> so there'll be like, one of them will turn around, and he's like healing someone from the dead. Like, oh wow, wow. wow. <laughs> they they face like, man, I'll watch that show. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. It's like you're healed. That's why the Lord, the Lord was like, I these people are sinners. There's going to be records of their wrong. 
<laughs> All over the internet. Ah, oh, man, we're gonna dude, have but to imagine. What time era would you want this to happen? But, dude, um, but imagine right a disciple of internet. God showing up to one of these like. <laughs> Right before the internet, please. <laughs> Dude, imagine seeing a disciple showing up to one of these heretical preachers. Right before social media. <laughs> Wait, what? Right. It's, it's just like, Lord, when do you want the 12 apostles to come? Uh, anytime. Anytime before, before, social before social media. media. <laughs> anytime before that. So we don't see Paul FaceTiming <laughs> as he's writing his letters. Hi, I'm writing this letter to the Church of Rome right now. <laughs> No. <laughs> like Timothy, pay attention. He's doing selfies. Um, I gotta feel. No, first of all, he wouldn't be. Do don't disrespect. <laughs> don't we not? <laughs> Paul was always. Yo, he we had to correct Timothy a, a few Yo, times, bro. Can you? He had to correct Timothy a few out. times, bro. He was letting stuff slide in the church. Go ahead, go ahead. So I could definitely see Timothy like, wait a minute, the kids are doing it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do, do, okay, ready? <laughs> the dopest selfie pick in the Bible. Moses in the middle of the water party. What? The sea party. <laughs> what? Like this. Oh, Hashtag that sea parted though. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a fire selfie. What? Can you imagine that selfie? Wow. Goodness, Moses with the party. Come on. With everyone in the background. Yup, every, everyone's posed up! <laughs> All the Israelites are posed up! <laughs> Yo, Yo, this it. is wild! Unbelievable. Oh, snap. Yo, we went to uh, uh, Boston Lights, which was super dope, by the Told way. You. Shout out to Boston Lights. I don't know if Told you're listening. You. We're looking now, for Can I ask you a question? It, I'm going to ask you this real quick before you go into the story about the Boston Lights. Yep. When you were in there, in your artist mind, artist oh, cap, my goodness, what was the was first fire. thing that came to your mind? Um... Avatar, uh, I don't no, know. No, an artist, man. You're a musician. What's the uh, first thing that came to your mind? Colors. Okay. Colors of light. Clearly, we're different pages. The first thing I thought of when I was there colors is how many colors, dope music videos will we pull out of this place? Yes. Of course. Yes, bro. I'm like, you literally, every exhibit is a music video. Absolutely. Literally every yeah. single the one. The, from the tunnel yeah. to the oh, dinosaur yeah. the to the swings, shark to the, the swings. Everywhere yeah. is a video that you can dope. just stop right there. You know what? Let's just Everything the whole was video a set. Right here. All of it was a set. Yep. After all I thought, everywhere we went, I was looking at my wife. Bro, like, hey, even the little music flowers. Video right here. Even the little flowers react to when you step on them. Yo, ew. And then the stuff that they did, like with the moving, the tank, the um, cannon that like you step on a star, you see this glowing red light go to the cannon <laughs> and then it lights kids. up and you hear and it acts like it shoots a cannonball. Oh, yeah, that's different. That is, that's man, one thing. I was that like, yo, they had, year. like they were moving. They were complex. Oh, damn, babe, we got to go to this. Mechanics. They like, got some cool stuff. Dude, I was like, man, this is a step up. Goodness. Things are actually incredible. flying around. Incredible. Like pterodactyls are everywhere. I'm like, dude, they got scorpions, what? spiders. Things moving. It oh, was really it dope. I took and it was dope like when I went. Thing. Like, it was fire, but they didn't have nothing like that. Like, well, interactive. I guess the like artists, that. you know how the artists are, man. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, do you know what? Well, this word, year, I'm going to knock mine, your socks watch off. Watch what mine's going to do. Next year, I'm going to knock your socks off. Mine's going to be on a real tiger. It's like a real tiger. <laughs> it's a around, real tiger with Christmas around, lights wrapped around, around lights. it. <laughs> word, watch this one. What? Yo, and it's a zoo. So the dude's like, oh, yeah, that looks realistic. How about this one? A real Bengal tiger wrapped in light. He, he just lets him go. <laughs> ah, <y 'all. laughs> yeah, Check out the realism, guys. People dying. Getting now, eaten this alive. Is ah. now, this is exciting. Now, this is exciting. Definitely got your money's worth. <laughs> Run for your life. So. I was, what was my point of that, man? The Boston Lights, know. I brought that up because it was dope. It was a dope experience. But I brought that up for a reason. Man, bro, don't do this to the me. The art of it. Um, what were we talking about before that? What Remind me. Hmm? Paul. We're talking about Paul taking selfies. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would be the dopest selfie when we were yeah. at the Boston Lights at all of us, all, me, yeah, all of us. It was beautiful. You just said it. It's a set. Everybody was selfie, 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 Facts. selfie. Especially the wings. Were you there for the wings? Yes. All the that wings, was there was there. a line. Yeah, because you could stand in front the of it. The wings, there was a line, line all the way almost out the door. I'm like, yeah, bro. man, bro, people are in there doing poses. Like The weird part, though, was <laughs> it was are, when like, certain girls was doing booty that's shots. That's what I mean. And I'm like, they were the wings doing, are like, facing front. They were doing poses. So that would be anatomically incorrect <laughs> if your bro, booty like, is facing this way and the wings yeah. are facing this way. Facts. That's, that's weird. But, hey. 
<laughs> more power to you. All for the gram. <laughs> That's my point. That's my point, man. So you know, back in the day, if you could whip out a phone when the C is parted, you're mm-hmm. gonna take a selfie. Don't lie to me, bro. Like these oh, people yeah. are like, yo. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. Every Israelite who got a mobile phone is like, yo, selfie time. Yo. My goodness. Talk about vanity of vanity. Can you compare it to that? When you start unfolding that, you can really see the ridiculousness and silliness of it all, right? You're not scared of <laughs> seeing the whale, like a whale, like Ain't that swimming. crazy? Yeah. And you know, it's just a giant Look at Gil's soul. Gil's like, man, That's crazy. definitely, bro. If you're back at that time, you're taking out your phone, bro. You're mm-hmm. documenting all this. Stuff. All you're gonna hear, all the people is screaming. It's like, yo, yo. this is for the gram. <laughs> yo, my gram life is about to get upgraded. Hashtag split that ocean though. <laughs> oh my good, what else is there? Hashtag David, my God is greater. David in the lines then. Like, David like, in the like, lines. Like, like, <laughs> he tried it. No. <laughs> Bad example. King me. <laughs> somehow he's up somehow he's oh hip to, uh, to disney movies hashtag lion king <laughs> chilling with simba <laughs> chilling with mufasa before he got killed oh what else what else is there man? what else can we do Oh, my goodness, oh I love it, man. If things were like out here, man, <laughs> if you like could if, do, man, like if, if the I, biblical could do times skits, I wouldn't today. think of so many right now. But Dude, like, that would be amazing. Go, amazing. Hey, hit up the line. Hit up the line at some point this week to my <laughs> podcasters and tell me where you would like to see the where you think the illest selfie in the Bible will be taken. Well, who would be what the story? Illest what? In give the me Bible. the picture, man. It's uh, what's our number here? I want to hold up. I got to bring this back up. Where's our number? Here we seven, go. Seven, seven, four. Did it come up? And that's Did what it? I know. Oh, there it is. Seven, seven, four, two, four, three, zero, three, eight, five. Call us up during the week or whenever you're hearing this and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the illest selfie to take in the Bible? Dang. If you- <laughs> Damn, the lion's den is a good one, man. Oh! The Ascension. Um, uh, the, I, their names are weird. Uh, uh, Nebet, ne, uh, Bednego, all the, in the in the oven. Exactly. I mean, the phone will burn. But, exactly. You know, but say, still, it would make an uh, if they could take a picture and throw it out the oven real quick, like oh, in the oven, goodness. shake and bake, oh. and throw it out real quick before it burns. <laughs> Feel the burn. Hashtag. Throw it out. Save that. <laughs> Get my good side. The fish, the fish in the bread. You're like, you're one of the people on the, on the hill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got, you got the basket of fish. <laughs> Yo, cause you know, they would be, they would be asking for healing and they will be asking for pictures. Yo, but that would be the they biblical would. time of when they used to, when they would t- take pictures of your food. Bro, that's what we do now. But <laughs> we are upward shot of the basket of fish. If it was, if upward it was shot of the bread, if it was in America in our time, they would be asking for, for pictures with them. Like with what Christ, like if Christ was here, they'll be, oh, they'll be course, like, "Yo, can we bro. take a picture with you?" <laughs> the whole disciples, the whole crew, it'll be a Yo, gang shot. Take a picture. <laughs> the whole twelve disciples. Can I take a like, picture man. with you and the disciples? That sounds like a rap group. I want to talk to Jesus and the disciples. Makes me think, like, man, would they been able? Would have they been able to capture a photo of Christ in the time that photo, like? cameras existed i mean obviously it unfolded the get way mad. god you god at, wanted you it to picture but... and it's just bright white like it, you can never take yeah. a photo of him yeah, yeah exactly how time, does it develop like, like, like what happens oh, dang it <laughs> he's lit what happens wow. <laughs> he is lit <laughs> just... like yo jesus would technology lit, even work like you know what i'm saying like I wonder. would you be, be able crazy, to record right? him you know what i'm saying like I mean, he did miraculous things. There was one moment where the where the crowd pressed in on him and was mm. trying to throw him over the the mountain, and somehow he just, I mean, it doesn't say anything specific like that, but Probably he made it in. through the crowd like no unharmed, untouched. Right. Nobody was able to touch this dude. So how does he make it through a crowd that's caving in on him, about to push him off the cliff, and he just walks right through untouched? It's unbelievable. He's Jesus. Exactly. I wonder, like, in real time, like, where they just, like, pause. Like, where they just, like, <laughs> they don't know it in their mind. They're just like, get him. Oh, what? And he's just gone. 
<laughs> like, how was it in real time? The disciples are coming like, we have to wash his Jordans. <laughs> it's godly. Did you say... <laughs> Did you say cross the Jordans? No, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta wash his Jordans. Oh, uh, I know you got the people, the haters, like, look at them. I thought you said wash washing his Jordans. his Jordans on the Sabbath. Do we have to wash <laughs> his Jordans in the Jordan? No, <laughs> in the Jordan. <laughs> it's extra holy. It's extra. What are you doing by the Jordan River? It's like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm washing my Jordans. My, I'm putting my Jordans in the Jordan. <laughs> Duh. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> I, that's gonna All be right. the new. That's how you that's know gonna it's be time the new, to sign off. That's gonna be the new challenge. <laughs> watch. All right, man. people are gonna start flying to good. Jordan River to wash their Jordans. That's gonna hashtag Jordan in the Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the new I trend, not see dude. That. We got Jordan we, on Jordan. You can't on Jordan. see that. You got a people uh, yo, walking yo, up crazy. Yo, no, Jordan, Jordan on Jordan on Jordan, and it's like Jordan wearing Jordans on Jordan, the Jordan River, <laughs> wearing his Jordans in the Jordan. How many Jordans can you get? Jordan on Jordan on Jordan. Holding somebody named Jordan. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jordans for days. Um, and good night, y'all. All right, cool. I've been Listen. Jordan for Jordans. has <laughs> been Jordan. <laughs> Sammy's like, get. Yo, close up shop, guys. Y'all hang in long enough. Good job. <laughs> You did well. Thank you, Sammy, for that encouragement. Oh, um, on that note, it was Until super dope. Time. If you did come <laughs> in, if you did come time. in somehow for some strange reason toward the end of the show, um, definitely go back to the beginning. Check out um, Abe's interview. Super dope. It was a blessing to have him on. Um, shout out to everybody who was with us today. And yo, don't forget to hit up the line, please. 774-243-0385. And if you're watching on YouTube, the best place to take a hit subscribe and hit that times. button. Facts. Hit the bell. And we're actually going to bounce out with another track. Here's Ave, I'm a Believer, uh, featuring T, uh, 2B1. Man, be I hope I said that right. Destroying, destroying on, these man. names. People, it's actually times. two, the number two, the letter B, cap, oh, with the number mean? one. Like, what, <laughs> what do you want me to do? 2B1. <laughs> there you go. 2B or not 2B. There we go. <laughs> Shout B1? out to Ave. We love you, brother. Yo, grace and peace, everybody. We love you. Till we love you. Later. Love you, baby. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Hey. I'm a believer. Uh -huh. I'm a believer. Yeah. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Running the streets, getting scored out here. I can feel the Lord out here. Bird's eye view, I can soar out here. I can feel the pressure racing. I can feel the heat coming from the devil. The demons start chasing, trying to race what I created. My creation, hesitation, I can't stop. Heart racing, can't flop. I can feel the top. I can see it. I can reach it. I can be it. Something stronger than I ever was. Something bigger than I ever could do or be. I can see something different in my lifetime now. My life like, wow, Jesus is here. Jesus appeared. Something different when you look at me. It's victory. Watch how I'm living. She crying, wipe a tear from a lonely eye. Start sighing, Feeny and Coretta can't prepare for the weather. Feel like Joe, then it gotta get better. I feel like I'm getting better now. I'm looking at life. The storm came and it finally settled down. Watch the doctors bring my son back to life. Then they turned and gave him back to my wife. Life is beautiful, mutual thing called love. And back then I couldn't see what it was Keep your faith in his name, there's power in it Prayers go up, blessings come down Shower in it, you should believe when it's hard to Yeah, not just what you gon' do Prepare, stare, fear in the face Put your hands in the air, show your faith Do you believe in God? Are you a true